<laughs> so, but yeah, like I, I, I strongly recommend like, yeah, I orc sworn as a not as a darker, not ice planet barbarian uh, series. If you do want something a little bit happier, which I don't blame anyone for, then I think it's CM Nescosta all, all the way. Um, and her Cambric Creek series, uh, like we had mentioned before, Morning Glory Milking Farm, like m- a lot of people, I think most actually seem to be uh, introduced to her that way, but she's got so much else. And so like, she's got the Girls Weekend series um, in Cambric Creek. She's also got uh, a brand new book that is just adorable uh called sweet berries and that's a mothman romance and i did not i had low expectations in some ways going into this because i'm like how the hell are you making mothman sexy turns out you totally can once again like (laughs) you have no rules when it comes to a dick so why don't you just make a dick pretty much like the best wiggly sex toy attached to a man you can (laughs) (laughs) which is exactly what this book is so it's great I almost feel like if I go into too much detail describing the penis it's like a spoiler um because it's that much fun what kind of of penis can you create I feel like these are like (laughs) these are like authors are like you know let's think about the women's rights and let's think about their pleasure and like let's think about what ways can we make it more pleasurable for the women you know absolutely and I love that because again why not the rules are out the gate here yeah you don't have to write about a a, a, you don't even have to write about a big penis to make it interesting yeah like there is a lot of size stuff going on like yeah. the Orcs Warren series if you are a size queen you'll love this because everyone's got a big dick everybody yeah. <laughs> even the small dicks are pretty big <laughs> yeah <laughs> so but I love that CM Nascosta is like doesn't have to be big it can just be fun yeah it can be and, wiggly it can be red it can be this it can be that it can be pierced it can be any way you want it <laughs> absolutely which is great and another thing i also admit i, I love about cm Nascosta is uh her published stuff is really just the tippy top of her iceberg like a woman's got a whole portfolio of short stories that she had originally published on tumblr and now she's been like pulling it back and republishing out uh and getting paid for it I love that you can see more of it if you are on her Patreon I am on her Patreon it's great I think you shared just during the Patreon like honestly do some just, ways that you can support not only support the author but get good content you know yes oh and she is worth it like she her if you joined her Patreon like this is my unpaid endorsement join that woman's Patreon it is totally worth it <laughs> She's got great fan art. She commissions these gorgeous, gorgeous works to illustrate her her work. I love it, by the way, when authors will commission artists to do fan art, just because in a way I never moved beyond children's picture books, but now I just need them naughty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see how big the dick is and what kind of pleasure it looks like and how does it look in that position? <laughs> Absolutely. Why not? so so yeah she's she's great and you can read like all of these drafts that she's got going on because truly like there is an entire iceberg of work that that woman has been working on in the cambric creek world and you you do realize that morning glory milking farms just like this detached like blip of a story compared to the much bigger bigger world going on there so much recommended um I also think it's kind of a, another interesting thing I, I find about monster romance world is, I mean, once again, re, kind of revisiting the what constitutes monster romance, because on one hand, it's very exciting how there's no rules on what genitalia is and how it works, what it looks like. It's really just comes down to how fun is it for someone with a vagina? Uh, <laughs> but like, I, 
I can also appreciate that it can be a little intimidating for some authors Mm -hmm. because we are humans Mm -hmm. and we got what we got. And so I think that is partly where shifter romances do come in Mm -hmm. because you get all the fun of being in love with like a bear, but Mm -hmm. he's a shifter. So we still have a normalish dick to work with. Mm He's just big and hairy and we can go with that. And by the way, that is no judgment whatsoever. I have enjoyed that. That is fun. And I totally see where the writers are coming from. And I I can absolutely appreciate it. Hello, Jeff. (laughs) (laughs) I have an orange cat boy. His name is Jeff Bridges. And he has finally, finally noticed the himbo that he is. You're talking to someone who's not me. Oh my God. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So yeah, now he's, he's going to be like hanging out now, like a little shark (laughs) around my chair. What is going on? Are you talking about other things that are not me? (laughs) Right. What the hell? So, but I, I think that shifter universe it, it does it disappoint some people. And I was on a group chat with some of my gal pals and uh, one of them did uh, complain, like, I tried looking up monster romance stuff, but it's a human dick. Um, I think one short story of a book that I love recommending for people at, where like, if you want to go really hard into this could have been a shifter but they did not go into the shifter world and like physics now confuse me (laughs) uh lv lane would be like my other big recommendation uh and specifically the centaur in my forest followed by the centaur in my valley uh because you're over here i mean i was over here thinking like so the the centaur is going to shift right <laughs> no <laughs> no <laughs> the, 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 uh, the centaur is not going to shift how the hell is this going to work <laughs> it works <laughs> it actually works and it's got to a point where like i have accused lane on instagram of like are you is your big end game just sex toys are you going are you going to do like a giant sex toy like line because I'd say both of those books are really just her game really creative how sex toys can be used and different props and it's really fun and actually like there is a part of me that's kind of like I would like to see a sex toy line (laughs) I would like this (laughs) I admit like she's got other she's got other stuff where it's essentially an omega verse uh Mm -hmm. world And this is just really one tiny part of it, but they're short, they're sexy as hell. Um, They made me feel scandalous most of the time reading it. Like I, I am a wife and mother. (laughs) Should I I keep reading this? (laughs) Yes, yes. And it's fun. (laughs) So that's like me, like going through like some of my, my biggest like I my main some of my main recommendations but honestly like if I've put it on my blog it's kind of like an endorsement on my Instagram page like if nothing else because like I'm one of those reviewers that like I'm not going to read it unless I think I'm going to like it like it's just I, I suspect from looking at Goodreads like are there some reviewers that are like I'm going to hate read this. There are some people who like to do that. Um, They're like to hate read shit. And they're just like, this is what I'm known for. I'm probably not going to be in that camp. I I like, I don't, I don't have time for that shit. I'm like, I'm sorry, but like, I just want to read for fun. Like, you know, life's too short. (laughs) Life's too short. Like for me to hate read something. Like if it doesn't work for me, it doesn't work for me. Like it's not the end of the world, you know? Yeah. Now I, I, I wholly agree with that. Um, it, you know, hey, if you want to hate read for the internet karma and that's what you're in it for, 
that's what you're in it for. It is not what I'm in it for. I, I need something to read while I'm nursing and, or like just trying to escape life. So. All right. So tell us where you can find you online. Tell us about your blog. Tell us about your Instagram page. Tell us like where we can get more monster recommendations, where we can stalk you. Okay. So I, I, was not terribly creative in how I named my uh, blog. So um, I'm on Instagram with uh, the handle monster underscore romance. Uh, I go by the name monster romance reviews. Oh, ho. <laughs> you are very <laughs> clever. It's actually very good for people looking for monster romance. They're like, they know where to go. <laughs> right. I, I admit SEO wise, perfect. <laughs> yes. This is like SEO dream. Like you got a niche, you got the title, like monster romance. We know where to go. Oh, and what a niche too, just because like, it's only going to grow from here. Please everyone grow. If you're over here in the, you know, in the internet thinking, hmm, should I try to write monster romance? The answer is yes consider listening to this podcast to be your sign from the universe saying yes Yes. go for it there is a market there's a need people are looking for it there's people there's enough you know there's a there's a need for it people are looking for it and it's gonna grow more and more as people discover you know as they discover as my barbarian the orcs tm acosta they're gonna be like i need more absolutely (laughs) Like we were just talking about like the queer stuff. Yeah. Like that's like, that is low bar. We're going to get a lot crazier, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh my gosh. Especially like I, so that, I admit that's another reason why I'm also on Twitter. I, my handle is monstrous underscore love. Yeah. Cause uh, you know, it, it was like close enough, partly because it's Twitter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there, there are handles for everything. Uh, but it, you know, if you look at, if you just, like search on Twitter, monster romance reviews. Boom, I am there. Uh, I, I, I love something that I love about Twitter that you can't get out of Instagram is the not safe for work stuff. So minors be gone. I don't want to deal with you. Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> Come to me in your own good time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, yeah Elizabeth thank you so much you must come back I would like you to come back and give us some more recommendations and more updates as we advance as we go from beginners to intermediate intermediate to advanced level <laughs> you know that would be so this cool. is a journey that we're going and to go <laughs> besides we got to do that panel we I know that. I am far from the only one who can talk about monster romance we're I want to hear these other people <laughs> we're doing the panel so we're we're on this journey thank you for donating but thank you so much for honestly opening our eyes for different types of things it was an absolute pleasure if you enjoyed this podcast feel free to share with friends subscribe rate and review the show this is the easiest way to support the podcast for a list of books mentioned and other romance recommendations please visit watchwarnextblog.com did you know you can purchase audiobooks directly from your favorite local bookstore? With LibreFM, you can pick up more than 250,000 audiobooks, including bestsellers and recommendations from real booksellers. You'll get the same audiobooks at the same price as the largest audiobook company, you know the name, but you'll be part of a different story, one that supports the local community. If you're new to audiobooks, they're the perfect way to squeeze more reading into your busy life. Listen with the free LibreFM app while you do your chores, walk the dog, relax at home. If you already love audiobooks and don't know what to listen next, check out recommendations from people who know the best booksellers. The Watch Your Next podcast has a special offer for our listeners. Get to audiobooks on LibreFM for the price of one with your first month membership. Use code WATCHYOURNEXT. The offer is valid only for new members in Canada and the U.S. The Watch Your Next podcast is part of the Frolic Podcast Network. Please visit frolic.media slash podcast to discover new shows to tune in. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.